movable part of the jaw completed. This is the stationary part of the vise for the power hacksaw. I still need to drill a hole in about the center, a quarter inch off the back. Welded a nut on top of a bolt. This will serve as a place to tighten up the vise on the power hacksaw. Here you see the different parts of the vise completed. The part on the right is the movable part, the part on the left is the stationary part, and the screw is what tightens the vise. The handle was made by just simply measuring out the different lengths and bending it over the vise with a hammer. So there's the power hacksaw, completely finished. I've got the clamp finished. It gave me a little trouble. I uh, originally pinned the nut on the end here and uh, the pin broke. So I welded it. I uh, built this uh, clamp or vise off of a picture that uh, a guy had posted on uh, YouTube of, of a uh, Dayton power hacksaw just like this which he shows running um, and uh, it's uh, several pieces to it um, I've tested it once on a flat piece of aluminum and it worked pretty well um, I'm pretty happy with the whole thing cleaned up real nice the motor once I rebuilt it was good the wiring I'm really happy with the wiring I, I reused the same cord that came with it Cut about 10 feet out of it. It had a really long cord. I uh, built this handle. Just uh, beat it into submission with my vise. Um, no biggie. Didn't uh, film that. Uh, you know, you get to working on something like this. And you start filming it thinking, oh, this would be a great project. Well, you know, you film a little. And then you mess with it a little. And then one day you don't have your camera. And that's when you mess with it a lot. And, uh, of course, that's what's happened to me, too. But, no, nevertheless, here's the finished product. The uh, switch down here, the little toggle switch right there, um, and this finger, uh, when the uh, <clears throat> power hacksaw comes down, it flips that finger out and kicks that uh, toggle switch off. And believe it or not, it works. I didn't. I didn't think it would work uh, the first time I tried it, but it works. The uh, the brass pieces on here seem to be working fairly well. I think uh, another project down the road might be to uh, replace all this brass because this kind of just bent sheet brass. Brass, as you can see there. If I get it into focus. And uh, so it does, it's not as rigid as I'd like it to be. So I might to get some bar brass and uh, machine it down in the mill and, uh, and see how that would work. So we're going to give it a try here in a second. Going to cut this uh, round stock. And uh, next time you see it, it'll be running.
does kick off. There you go. You saw it. I'll uh, turn it around and uh, try to get a picture of uh, the switch cut off. Okay, we're going to cut the other end. Um, sprayed it with a little uh, WD this time. Um, shouldn't have, I shouldn't have cut that dry, but yeah, you know. Well, that was quick. I don't even think I saw that switch flip. Well, that's it. She's all done. I checked the uh, squareness of the cut. And uh, it's very square, much to my surprise. I thought uh, maybe it wouldn't be so square. But uh, I don't see a problem there, of course. Probably not the best square in the world, but what the hey. Looks square to me. Please like, subscribe, and share. Comment too if you want.